Talk to me about where you start and how you make that sort of a future. Well, um, I think at the high school level, the challenges uh, that we face are just the um, the number of students, the number of content areas, and how to take all that data to make it a working system in what we do at the, at the high school level. Um, and be able to kind of decipher all the, the data that we use, but if it's benchmark, if it's end of course testing, if it's graduation test. Right now, it, it just seems that we have so much. The, the key for us and the administration and the leadership is to really focus it and really find what we need to work with to help our instruction and help our students. So. Uh, what have been your biggest hurdles with getting your students used to college? Once you, once you put it all together and you uh, narrow down those areas, what's the biggest struggle with high school students getting to move forward? Well, I think there's a, there's a couple there. The first thing is just uh, you have different levels. You know, we differentiate our, our leadership. We, we know that there's some that are still, you know, may have been in this, the field 30, 32, 33 years that still don't like technology. So we're working with passwords and things like that with them. And then, but they'll use the data once we get them into the system. And then you have those that are real techno savvy that they pull it up and look at it before I even get to it. And then you have that kind of middle group um, that you just have to, to lead and guide through it. And one of the things that we do to, to overcome that challenge is we put the data in front of them. Until we get them comfortable with using the technology, we still know that we have a valuable piece of information that we just printed out you know, as a leadership and have meetings. And that's the focus. Our, our last meeting last week was a, focused on benchmark analysis and really just talking through together as a staff what that means to the math department, what that means to the language arts, what that means to everybody. And then through that collaboration, we find that they have the best answers and they can decipher it, you know. But it's just getting it in front of them and get, you know, until they're comfortable with just pulling it themselves. Um, and with that collaboration, um, how do you kind of diffuse the whole uh, nervousness about uh, just it being a gotcha or, um, you know what I mean? So but yeah, last Thursday we talked about that. I think you just have to continue to just reinforce that, you know, and just say that, and, and it, that takes a couple years. It's been a year and a half at, at, you know, Cross Creek where we say, you know, I, I said last week, have I fired anybody or has anybody really gotten in trouble for what we're doing right now? And, you know, a lot of our discussion last week was, you know, I don't think it's fair on this question. Well, make your own and then bring it to us and we'll run it through data director and print our own assessments. And that's our next steps right now is how do we build a system where we go from using Scantrons and, and certain quizzes, just paper, pencil, to where if you give me five questions a week, we'll build you a quiz based on the standards and you can look at it each week. We're, you know, we're, we're, we're teaching new terminology, progress monitoring in high school is a big challenge, as it is for probably any level, but. You know, those are some of the things. Just just sitting down and talking to them and say, you know, as the principal, you know, I'm not mad at you. I'm just, we're just looking. Let's look at the data and see what it says. It is what it is. Yeah. So it's a, it's a process that takes years to... Well, I, I think for us it's been about a year or so, and people have their own levels of anxiety with it. But the more we look at it, the more at ease, you know, that it is. And it's not just where I give it to them and say, you know, figure it out. We have to, I have to do that as the instructional leaders. We, we sit down and do it together. And when I look at it and they look at it and they say, well, he's not mad about it. You know, I don't, you know just that anxiety. Say, well, this is our lowest as a department. What do you think? And so when they discuss it, they feel more at ease with, with that.